Hey guys, I'm down at Camo's Reptiles because we got something really special for you guys today. Some really exciting news to do with one of these species, the Parenti monitors. And this young guy here is Blade. He's one of the young ones getting grown up at the moment. He's kind of in training for holding, so he's a bit wriggly. His name is Blade for a reason. His claws are absolutely razor sharp. But um, they are an absolutely beautiful species. And they are a very, very, very difficult species to obtain because they are a very difficult species to breed. And that's why the news that we have today is so, so, so exciting. Um, I can't believe it. There's babies here. So this little guy is still what I consider a baby. Um, but wait until you see just how small the little ones are that have just hatched down here at Camo's Reptiles. I'm absolutely stoked to be a part of it. Um, I have raised the mum since she was even smaller than this. And of course, I'm going to take this opportunity to show you baby Razor. So this is Mama when she was a little one. She is just so, so, so cute. Um, can't believe I got to work with her when she was this little all the way through to being big enough to have her own babies. It's just been so incredible. Like there's no words for it. And it's all paid off. Um, there's kind of a funny, funny story with it as well. So the, the funny thing is that when Mama Razor was this size, Razor was actually meant to be a boy. Um, so Camo had bought Razor as a boy because we were down a boy in the breeding group here. And so it turns out uh, just before we introduced her as part of the breeding group, she laid infertile eggs. So the next season we introduced her to a new male and the rest is history. So um, I'll put Blade back and we'll get into it. I'll show you some really, really cool Parenti monitors and give you some facts along the way. Hi, baby. So these little Parentis have been incubated for eight or nine months now. Um, very, very long time. So we do have one infertile egg here and then two empty eggs there. So here is the second baby to be emerging from an egg. Still got a lot of umbilical attached. We're not taking him out of the container just yet. You'll see that later in the video. Uh, this afternoon he'll be coming out of this container. This was the first baby to hatch a little earlier in the day. Compared to yesterday, so we're going to see how his umbilical has healed up from when he went in, and it's shrunken up heaps. Look at that coming so 10 out of 10. When we just opened it, then he was basking under the heat light. That's yeah. pretty cool. So that's why he's full of energy. He's just been getting really hot. He's very hot in my hands, um, but he's really, really cool, and we're really proud that um, we've now got some of these guys hatched out. So there's him, and we'll get him to calm down for a sec. And here we go, now we've got his sibling, he's ready to go in too. So we'll open this tub up nice and slowly. And there it is. So these are our two babies. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, it's okay. So this guy you can see has a lot more umbilical here. So that's why they're not going under sand. We're gonna put them down onto the paper and let that kind of heal up and dry up and fall off just like baby's umbilical and he'll be right as rain in a couple of days excellent here we go there you go darling i know all right so there is a third egg in here we've just pulled it open a little bit let's see there's another one what's in there talia and yep sure enough there is a third little lizard in here so he's definitely not ready yet. Uh, he's had the other two running over and normally their claws over the eggs will encourage them to come out if they're ready. So if he's not out yet and he's just not ready, we're gonna put him back in the incubator, see how he goes after another day. So hopefully, once he goes back in, he'll be good. Excellent, thank you. 
here we go. So this is Razor. This is the very proud mama. And she is awesome. We've, uh, many people would know that we've raised this girl up from very little. Not much bigger than what her babies are right now. Uh, she's been handled her whole life and she is absolutely stunning. So very, very proud for her that she is now a mum. And she is just gorgeous. Can't and wait for her babies to be this. This is the big old baby number three when he finally hatched and baby number two with a pinky in his mouth. Hey guys, so apologies for the absolute potato quality here, but my stupid phone has uh, failed to record an outro twice now. So I'm giving up and going with the laptop. It's not the best, but please just stick with me for a sec. So the last thing you would have seen is baby number two with a pinky in its mouth and baby number three coming out of the egg. Baby number three was huge in comparison to the other ones. Um, baby number three is at least a head, oh, probably two head lengths longer than what the other two babies were. Um, now baby number one was immediately really quick to eat on crickets. Babies two and three, eh, not so much. Um, baby two is very interested in pinky mice, but just won't pick them up on his own. So for now, um, two and three, we put a mouse in their mouth um, and then they swallow it down on their own and they eat and it's no worries, which is part of the fun with um, hatching out $4,000 lizards. You're not really going to play the chicken game waiting to see whether or not they starve or eat. Uh, you're just going to go straight to making sure they're getting nutrition and not take any chances. Um, I say that figure because yes, they are. We've gotten offers of about $4,000 a baby. Um, so that's been pretty cool. Um, aside from that, I'm trying to think, I've recorded this so many times now that I'm forgetting things. I, I could tell from when I tore the egg open in that clip that baby number three was going to be huge, but it was something that I just kind of I wasn't going to say it and jinx it, um, or the other thought I even had was maybe there was twins in there. There wasn't. It was just one really, really big baby. Um, but that was really cool to hatch out a big one. And the big one is vicious. <laughs> like, I took six bites from the big one in the span of like 10 minutes. And it was one of the cutest things ever watching this, you know, decent sized lizard get really, really defensive immediately. Um, as soon as he hatched but it's been pretty cool working with them um, getting to be the person who's feeding them and stuff like that and I'm very excited that you know breeding season is nearly upon us again to do it all over again hopefully with modifications to the parents enclosure there will be a bit more success this year of not just getting eggs from the beautiful razor um, but also getting eggs from the other two girls as well in our entire new setup, um, entirely new egg area for them to lay. A um, lot and lot of time and effort put in by the amazing Andrew of Camo's Reptiles to set all of that up. Uh, he truly does love his animals like nothing else, um, especially the parentes. You know, he's, he's probably got twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 invested into these parentes and so... I'm just so happy that he's been able to make his dreams come true by hatching out these babies and it's made my dreams come true being there to witness it all. So that's been pretty cool but um, I guess now I've been rambling for three and a half minutes at the end of the video. You're all probably tuned out by now so I'll let you go. Um, thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll keep you guys in the loop as time goes on with breeding them and raising them and everything else um summer is approaching there will be a lot more videos coming soon it's just that winter sucks for reptile keepers uh i was gonna do reptile breeding videos but there's only so many times i can show you snakes curled up in a ball together where you can't see anything else and it's not that interesting um so yeah just stay tuned i guess and we'll see what summer brings us all right, see ya.